We're going to compost, so all of the uh, extras and the leftovers, they're gonna go into this coffee can right here. We'll get this little guy. So the first thing you're gonna do is, I like to get a bowl to put all the uh, stuff that I'm gonna juice in it, and then I like to get a separate bowl to put all the garbage in. So the cool thing about juicing is you can use every part of it. We have a two-year-old, so getting her to eat some fruits and vegetables is sometimes a struggle. So when we do this, she likes to eat it just because we're eating it and she'll drink it very simply. What are you gonna put in yours? We do a combination of fruits and vegetables. Think about, I like stuff sweet. So whatever um, your taste is, you could Google recipes. When we bought this juicer, it came with a book of recipes. But pretty much whatever you have laying around the house, just process it and get it ready to be juiced. I really like that we're doing this compost because all of these gross parts that have like the seeds in them that you would normally eat, we're able to reuse them. Basically we're recycling, that's what compost is. So none of your, what you buy at the store is going to waste. Especially if you have these bananas like this that are starting to go bad, then you don't feel guilty about wasting them because really we're gonna put them in the juicer and be able to get the nutrients out of them. We'll do half a lemon, just because lemon's not necessarily the best thing um, as far as tasting goes. And when we're cutting these up, we're preparing them. Um, we just wanna make them small enough to take the rinds off, because there's not. Usually the rinds for stuff like lemons and oranges are really bitter, so we wouldn't necessarily wanna try to juice them. Even though a lot of times that's where the nutrients for your produce comes from. But later on, in some months, we'll be able to get those nutrients back through our compost. And I like to just get these ready in a bowl. So when it comes time to juice them, we're just picking up a piece and putting them in there. We're not stopping and having to cut up before we put them in there. And we're just gonna prep these to be small enough to go into the juicer. grabbed a handful of grapes. So we're gonna have this guy. We'll them later. Put all the seeds and the, whatever that stem is. Here's the key ingredient to get our kid to eat her vegetables. The cool thing about the grapes too is that they're really sweet. So they will allow the juice to be more sweet. These carrots are pretty dense, so you want to cut them out, cut them down to be smaller pieces, so you're not straining your juicer so much. And we're ready to juice all these up. Okay, so chop this up, put it in the fridge, waited for my assistant to get done with nap time. Turn this on. So stick your stuff in. Come on. Look at this juice. Cheers. Me and Hey, what cheers?